producer. I got you, bro. Of course. All right, guys. Yo, what's up? This is Producer, the podcast for producers. Today we're joined by Lucian. L- Lucian. Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Lucian trap art. Hey, so yeah. Lucian, what yeah. do you do if you could just give the people some description? Um, I mainly paint portraits, um, whether it's like animals or people. Um, but uh, the style that I do it with, it incorporates, it's uh, like a, I use a couple different processes, uh, but I, I like to incorporate like layered uh, acrylic pores. So I figured out a way to mask off the canvas and pour a bunch of paint on top of it. And then I peel the mask off when it's the right consistency. Mm-hmm. And I build the values up like that to then become a portrait. But then I also use spray paint in the process as well. Um, it just depends on like if I get to paint horizontally or if it has to be vertical. And I got a lot more control over the spray paint layers. So. For sure. It's just a more, uh, what's, what's the word? Uh, uh, I can't think of it. Like subtractive, like it's a process. Well, where yeah, keep- I, I mask off every layer first. So mm-hmm. every layer starts off with a mask, almost like a screen, like in a screen print. Mm-hmm. And then that's the color layer. So then say it's like the darkest layer, I'll use a lot of like blacks and dark colors and I'll go layer by layer uh, on top of that to build the value so I can get the dimension in the shape. Word. Mm -hmm. So you also do like live painting for Mm -hmm. festivals and currently right now you got to go back after this interview to uh, riot fest he's got some paint yeah i'm on break right now (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) i gotta get back though (laughs) took a little bit of your gracious time to come hang out with Uh, us yeah no of course thanks for having me yeah of course so you know we we always do one question which Mm -hmm. is um what was your first concert my first concert hmm I think it was Warp Tour. <laughs> Dude, a so really many long time people ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tour. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's funny, yeah. Warp Tour with that one actually made me start listening to hip hop music. No shit, <laughs> really? I did not have a good time, no. <laughs> oh, I was wondering. I, started that. Listen, I, I was like straight into punk rock and everything. And then <laughs> did did I, anything... left, I ended up getting like a really bad allergy, like allergic reaction when I got home. It was just like oh. the whole day was shit. And it's always <laughs> so, in the like hot ass parking lot. Yeah, like, it was in a hot just, parking lot. Yeah. And I remember it was before they had li- like liquid death, they had a different canned water, and that canned water tastes like ass bro it was horrible it really? was horrible it was like it was warm like they had like sitting it they had it sitting in pallets all day oh, i remember i took a sip of that and it was just like, oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> so was that the first festival experience i mean yeah that, that was the first was concert like, yeah, yeah it was my first concert i was i was like yeah. maybe in junior high like was there was grade. there something about the music that you were not into either? The mosh pits I wasn't into. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were kind of like because I always like imagine going to like a Slipknot concert or like a System of a Down concert or something like that. You know, in the mosh pits that would be there. Then I got there and it was like just wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, so they it was were, like it was mostly emo music. They weren't there, so they was, weren't was, as intense as you were expecting. Yeah, I wanted. Oh, it okay. More I thought it was. Yeah, 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 I thought yeah, it was yeah. the other no, way, dude. I wanted to throw some fucking elbows dude <laughs> you know what I'm you're saying? in there trying to knock somebody out <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah okay, nah, okay i try not to hurt anybody but but yeah. when you're in the mosh but you got to protect yourself oh yeah yeah yeah. it's yeah i guess yeah and then if there's i've heard if there's the dick in the pit you know everybody's going after that oh guy, yeah right? for like, sure yeah uh yeah one year at uh riot fest actually what was that a couple of years ago when system of a down played me and oh yeah one of my largest friends he swung me around like a battering ram <laughs> Was like knocked out like 15 foot of mosh pit <laughs> i'm a heavy dude he was swinging me around it's just like, just like, legs came in like people. a wrecking ball dude <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> i mean the thing that's weird about mosh pits is it's like almost simulated war you know what i mean yeah. like you're you're everyone's accepted that we're gonna just like kind of beat each other up a little bit yeah. but it's like so close to the other side where then you actually break out into a real fight. Like I've seen those situations where someone gets hit a little too hard and they're just like, what the fuck, man? And you're just mm-hmm. like, dude, we're in the mosh pit. Remember we signed yeah. up for this. Yeah. You can't, that, yeah. If you don't want it, don't get in it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I know this weekend I'm staying in the outskirts of that crowd for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I'm too old for that shit now. I'm trying I'm to think. Good. 
It's a it's a good lineup this year at uh, yeah, Riot Fest. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. ICP. Man. Dude, I want to <laughs> yeah, go I'm, to that. I'm stoked. My boy that got me the job, shout out Don Mega, man. He he hooked me up. And uh, yeah, he, 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 he gets down with the ICP, man. So I'm excited to see that with him. Yeah, you got to bring like a raincoat with all that Fago I'm going I'm not around. going within <laughs> Fago vicinity. Yeah, I'm I gonna, I'm gonna check it out from the back. Here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nothing I'm worse just, like getting enjoy wet, my drink, smoke. <laughs> yeah, ch- chilling. All the juggalos, yeah. dude. It's just good people watching. Like, oh that's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. I, every I've juggalo heard like, I know is cool. I was about to say I've heard they're like Man, the coolest community. I don't like, know, accepting as hell. Yeah, they're and, yeah. super cool. Every single one I know, I have no problems with them. Yeah, I really want to go to the gathering or the dark uh, carnival. The, the gathering for yeah, as a spectacle. Yeah, yeah. I might want to get like a hotel room though. I don't know if I could do that camping there. The it, camping, it gets kind of yeah. it gets kind of crazy. If I walked out my tent and somebody was shitting like right in front of it, I would have a problem. Yeah, uh, I I wouldn't just be able to like laugh that one off. I'd be upset for real. No, it, I would be for real upset. Yo, my somebody re- dropped a shit right in front of my tent. <laughs> if I stepped in it, dog. Oh, dude. Yo, it's over with, dog. We just become animals. I'm starting a fire. <laughs> I'm Someone like, else is I'm down. Like, yeah, dude. I'm fucking burning. It's Woodstock some shit '99. Down, dude. After somebody shits in my tent, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's horrible. I would. I would almost <laughs> go doing like like research like i'd be just like uh-huh. you know what i mean like what goes down here see I, I would go with the intention of doing research and then probably like just get in it eat some acid and just <laughs> show, wind up three days later with no pants <laughs> face paint yeah face dude i'd probably have a face tattoo like, <laughs> oh, shit. fuck the paint i'd go straight to the tattoo bro hell yeah <laughs> That would be interesting, though, for you to do, like, live painting there. Oh, my God. Okay, there's so many, like, possibilities. Yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be be cool. Yeah, I don't like to go anywhere if I can't paint. I usually just lock in at my gallery um, unless it's, like, otherwise keeps me out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go origin story. When did you start painting? Um, I've been making art my whole life. Um, I should go stay. uh, My my father, he's probably my biggest inspiration in life. Uh, He's a tattoo artist. So... Um, from a very young age, I like my earliest memories. I've always been drawing, coloring, do, doing something artistic, making pottery. Like I, I went to like a pottery making class instead of preschool. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So like, like it's always been kind of the thing. And then like I started getting in trouble in school a lot, and I was always kind of getting shitty grades. So my parents were really just kind of trying to push me on like this artistic path, like forever. Um, and then. Uh, Throughout high school, I kept getting arrested. I was doing a lot of graffiti and stuff, and I was always, like, the chubby friend. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So I was, like, the slowest runner, especially I had broke my leg freshman year. So I I wasn't good at running. So 5-0 rolled up. I'm the one getting fucking caught. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I caught, like, three or four cases in a year when I was, like, 16, 17, and they were like, hey, man, we're going to try you as an adult if, like, you come back in here. And I was like, all right, fuck that, I guess. Yeah. And so then I just started doing, like, real crime and shit and, like, selling a bunch of drugs and robbing, just wilding the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Um, and that lasted. Uh, and, and looking back on it, I didn't realize how kind of lost I was without my art, you know what I'm saying? Like, without having, like, that artistic outlet. Mm-hmm. I was talking about starting a clothing line, but really wasn't doing shit. Like, you know, I was really just, like, partying, throwing after parties, selling ecstasy, like, you know, just whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I had no, like, goals or ambition. I thought I could just do that, you know what I'm saying? I was making good money, so it was like, I didn't see a problem in it. But then I got arrested, I got locked up, and... uh I almost went away for like 10 years. Uh, I ended up getting probation, like by the grace of God and having like a Mm. really good lawyer. And uh, like, I had like, you know, my people on the outside, like we set up like a plan for me to go to vocational school. And like, you know, like I I came at the judge, like, Hey, like if you let me out on probation, you know, I'll switch my life up. And uh, you know, it's been a long road since then. That was 10 years ago. I turned 20, like while dealing with that. So I just turned 30 and, uh, you know, it's just been, it's been a trip, man. And, uh, I, I, I was, uh, when I got out, I started up my clothing company. <laughs> Sorry. But that was always like really hard to keep afloat because like with the clothing company, for example, like there's so much overhead, you have to order, you know, what, like 50 shirts minimum at a time, you know, 10 in each size, mm-hmm. you know, and then 
say a design doesn't sell then you're sitting on fucking 30 of those left and you're trying to get back this much money off of twenty dollars twenty dollars twenty dollars twenty dollars you know what i'm saying once i figured out the painting and kind of this style that i'm doing now and i, I realized that nobody else on the internet was doing it that mm -hmm. was probably about five years ago maybe closer to six now gotcha and uh yeah, it just started taking off. I, I started experimenting with the layering of the acrylic pores, and then I started, oh, maybe I could throw spray paint in there because it always kind of bleeds out a little bit. And I wanted mm. it crisper. So it's just been like messing around, tinkering around with different products and everything. And then, uh, yeah, uh, the first like month of the, the lockdown, when they, well, uh, maybe it wasn't the first month, when they gave out, gave out the stimulus checks, I quit my construction job, and it's just mm. been like full time since then. Nice, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. So when did you start doing like live painting with festivals? Um, so my first festival was that I live painted at was uh Wakan. Like big music festival was Wakan yeah, yeah. last year. Um and uh that was a great experience. I brought like six paintings with me. Cause uh my style, it takes a long time to dry in between layers. There's a lot of drying time and I have yeah. ADD like a motherfucker, so I'm bouncing around, bouncing around. Going like, painting to painting, painting. painting. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I okay. bounce around, so I usually set up like a like a ring of like tables and easels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I always I always take the corner spot so I can get that like little array, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and I ended up finishing like all like almost all the paintings I brought with me. So I was like super stoked on that. I brought them on like different parts of completion, but then I had this one dude, this one other artist dude, man. He like came up to me and he like was almost like talking shit. He was like. He's like, oh, well, you know, all your paintings are half finished. So, yeah, good luck. So, like, just because he did that, like, I started and finished one oh, while I was there. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. I was just like, like, fuck you, dude. You got me all in my head and shit. And it was like, all right, fuck it. I had brought some extra tubes of, like, paint. So, I just started, made a mess and came out pretty cool. Was he saying that from a place like, dude, you're never going to sell any of these if you're not finished with them? No, no, no. Because he, he was almost like... Cause, Cause I was kind of like, yeah, man, like I brought all these, I'm gonna finish them up, you know. Da, da, da. He's like, oh well, you know, really, you should bring one and start it and finish it here. If you don't, you're kind of cheating, type, you know. <laughs> like that's kind of like the energy he was giving me, and I was like, all right, fuck it then. So I started one and finished one. I saw him on the last day. I was like, hey, you like it? I just started it this weekend. <laughs> Damn. He looked salty, dude. <laughs> he, he was just hating, man. He was a hater. He just had that like hate in his heart, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know. It sounds like Sucks there's suck, dude. there's like. <laughs> It, yeah it definitely does yeah. it sounds like there's some etiquette involved when you're working with other painters this might have just yeah. been this own guy's etiquette but like or maybe he was just trying to bring you down i don't know a lot of a lot of art there's like different types of artists and and some artists think that like their art form is more pure or more this or that than any other artist and it's all bullshit man as long as your finished product looks cool and you like it it's all that matters yeah, like, like if someone likes it, who cares? Yeah, who too? the hell cares how or how or what you did or like you know what I'm saying? Like if some like you you you, you stick yourself in this little box of like oh everything has to be like a hundred percent this or that you know like um, you know like why not use a projector if you're blowing something up? Why not? Like there's some artists that'll be like oh that's cheating. You have to grid it out. You have to do this and to, that to paint over the projection. Yeah, like say say you you draw an image, it's this big, and then you project it on the wall so you could blow it up and get all your proportions proper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People that they think that's cheating and they don't realize that like for the Sistine Chapel, he fucking developed like a type of projector to see what he was doing. They've been doing it there's always since the beginning of making art, there's been cheat codes and little ways that you could make your job your life a little easier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Since, since yeah. the beginning of it. So there's just like those people who are purists about, oh, you have to straight hand draw everything and grid out the wall and take, you know, that. why do that? It's, it's if like, you get the same result and it takes five times the amount of time, why? It's like yeah. the musicians who insist on making their own samples, making their own kick drums and their own snares, and they're not going to use anybody else's like yeah. work, right? It's like, okay you know yeah, if yeah, that yeah. gasses you up but like yeah if that works for you yeah yeah, yeah exactly. if that works for you if that if you're that much of a purist for yourself yeah but don't 
judge other people for using like you know i feel like it's about developing the process for yourself like if you like exactly. making all of your snares and whatever like and that's part of your unique sound dude mm. go for it who mm. cares Bro, or, did you make this paint that you're using like come yeah, on, yeah right <laughs> did you go and source those fucking uh those pigments yeah, yeah. those pigments <laughs> And break it down with some linseed oil and shit. Like, what? What are you talking about? Like, just does the, it look cool? That's at yeah. the end of the day. Do, does your picture look cool? Yeah. Does it look cool? Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> right. For sure. Just to stick on the festivals for a second. Yeah. Um, is there a goal in mind of selling, or is it about spreading the word, kind of spreading the gospel, just showing what's going on? So my my main intention usually when I go to the festival is a just to enjoy myself and make some art and show as many people possible like what I'm capable of making and like displaying my skills for you know people and try to give them like some entertainment out of it. I'm usually like throwing cans around, like half ass juggling them and wiggling around and shit. You know, I'm getting pretty loose usually while I'm painting, so. You know, people seem to attract to that. I, I tend to have like a decent little sized crowd around uh, my my live painting stuff, but uh, you know, other other than that, really, it's just trying to get my name out there and uh, trying to meet and interact with other artists that I'm fans of. You know, that that are inspirational to me. Mm. You know, and you know, get to shake their hand, talk to them for a little bit, uh, say what's up. You know, I I, totally. I I take a lot of inspiration from musical artists, both DJs and. Uh, like rappers a lot of times uh with with just the their career trajectory and you know kind of seeing moves that they made and thinking of how i might be able to like implement something into my game plan you know as a visual artist because it's different but there are certain things that you could do that are similar mm -hmm. or you know something might spark an idea oh he did this to promote that album i could do this to promote like this series of paintings you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying like drawing inspiration from different yeah, places yeah. i got a lot of questions going through my head one of one Shoot. quick question was basically just is there any type of music you specifically like to listen to drum while and bass. painting drum, drum and bass, bass. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay dark you, dirty or liquidy okay one or the other yeah I, I guess i was curious as it like if music is like a a drug in a sense oh, yeah. like you're, you're that, feeding your brain like, different or like things the like most you. aggressive rap music you can mm, listen mm. to yeah like do you find you make different pieces of art when you do that or um, do you kind of stick to the same style no it just depends at where i'm at like mentally because like sometimes if there's too <laughs> many words in the music i get stuck like singing along and like fucking rapping in the fucking mirror <laughs> at the studio so i'm like all right man and maybe switch it up to the drum and bass and then that really locks me in like mm. i have like they just say and that yeah. just have that beat going through my head and then it's just like i look up and six hours have passed yeah like yeah. how many mixes did i just listen to like <laughs> yeah how many like you or uh what are they called bbc like radio one mixes i love oh, yeah. the drum and bass one specifically from that mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a big liquid fan too. yeah me too yeah yeah, yeah it yeah. just gets you i just start gets you going yeah. wiggling around my seat. doing work like sending emails even yeah. just to like that just yeah, yeah it just gets you yeah going. it locks you in yeah yeah it's something about yeah just the, the beat progression so who are some artists that you draw inspiration from like i guess more in the visual field of things um i mean for sure you know like uh i would say uh like shepherd fairy i'm a big fan of shepherd fairy banksy of course banksy he's sick he's just like the dopest but uh do we know does anyone like no, no one knows <laughs> i, I don't, I don't a, care to know I do you like think it's a know. group or do you think I, it's one guy i think there's one main dude and yeah. that he definitely has like a shit ton of assistance you know what i'm saying like, like he definitely has a posse of people yeah and like you know there is like some teamwork there but i think it is one singular person who's kind of like the main person you know what i'm saying that's kind of how i felt too like he's obviously has to have his like his hands like yeah. he's got to have his dudes yeah, that exactly. do stuff for him because he can't be out there for example it. like you saw when he snuck his pieces into the, the museums when he mm. snuck his pieces into the museums that wasn't the one where they shredded it no 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 that was at an auction he, oh, okay. he before the auction he took his own pieces and like stuck them onto the walls of like the louvre and like some other giant Whoa. fucking yeah 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 it all disguised out and he got it all on video 
So he had a video guy there. I, I, I was watching a documentary about it that when, when they did like the one I think at the Louvre, they had some they they had like three people get into a fight over there, so it created a distraction oh. so that he was able to stick it up, you know. So it was like a five person operation, six yeah. person operation. You know, it's not just him. Think about those big things he did on uh that that wall in uh is that in Israel or Jerusalem or something like that that oh that, yeah that, yeah that yeah big wall what is that called I can't remember uh yeah, is it the Gaza fuck. Strip is, yeah is he, that it yeah yeah and it's I think that one is like he the did, girl with the balloon did, right dude, or he no? Did like, no he did like giant pieces across mm. that whole wall like okay. there's like six or seven of them and they're massive no no one person could do those pieces like how they did yeah he's it crazy take a couple people. I just I mean, had to like get a piece of paper up on an eight foot by eight foot wall, and it was like a pain in my ass doing it by <laughs> myself. So oh, these yeah. were like sixteen feet like tall, like they're huge pieces, like with like yeah. And and that was all gorilla, like just yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he had permission, but I was watching a documentary about it, and uh, they did not have permission. They just went for it. They just went for it, and that's crazy as hell because it's like literally being patrolled by like army dudes with yeah. fucking assault rifles you know what i'm saying it's like they'd pop up and be like what the fuck are you guys doing they're like oh no we we were told we could and <laughs> yeah. they just kind of okay well don't fucking yeah you know don't fuck it up they like, were like <laughs> they were like oh it looks pretty cool actually you guys keep doing your yeah, thing yeah don't no, fuck it up actually. don't fuck it up dude <laughs> yeah so who else visually um, warhol the and screen world. printing aspect yeah yeah well so like the screen print so i the the style i do because a lot of people would say it's a stencil style but it's really not because when when it, when you use a stencil everything has to be connected so when i when i prep my piece to apply paint to it i'm pretty much building a screen like a screen print onto it with a with a masking compound and uh and then I peel that off. You get what I'm saying? So I'm almost like building the screen onto each one, each layer individually and then peeling the screen off of it so that I could get like way more detail in there. I get what you're saying. Like you showed us one of the of the bowl and it was like this red and black bowl. Mm -hmm. Like that was the first. That's the first layer. But that I'm doing this one a little bit different than how I've ever done one before because it's vertical. I can't pour the paint and have it dry overnight on a vertical wall. It's all going to fall down mm. you get what i'm saying so i was trying to duplicate kind of what the pour looks like with spray paint gotcha yeah okay, okay yeah. cool yeah yeah so doing something a little different this a little, time. way different than i've ever done yeah, yeah that's but cool but there's it's getting but then i'm gonna clean it up with what i'm doing tomorrow and saturday mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah do you ever uh get nervous uh when people are watching you if you no. got a crowd no no no, I Is love that, it. You're in the zone, man. I love I mean, it. Yeah. I love it, dude. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the more, the merrier, dude. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel that way at the studio, or are you alone? Do you have like homies that do? I art? need people around me. Mm -hmm. I get two in my head when I'm like by myself. I'm definitely like an extrovert. Like I like being around people, and I don't like being by myself that much. Yeah. Okay. I, but I, I am by myself all the time at the studio <laughs> so i'm always in my fucking head. yeah you can't <laughs> it, is is your studio your own thing is it a communal well thing? no Do so people... it so my boy rodney duran um it's called happen space uh gallery um my boy rodney duran he brought me in um in april i moved in i was managing and curating a different gallery last year um but things happen if, uh, end up getting shut down so I was kind of like in limbo for a couple months, like trying to figure out like where am I going to paint? I, I literally, I bought like a bunch of like uh, water-based spray paints and like got like a big box so I could spray paint in my kitchen uh, without like killing my girlfriend's sugar gliders. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> like- Because it's like toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got this water-based stuff now. So then I, I started bringing those. I've been doing like nightclubs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like pulling up. I, the, dude, people look at me like I'm fucking crazy when I'm in a nightclub with two cans of spray paint. Just like- <laughs> they're like yo what are you doing <laughs> i'm like look dude it says no odor <laughs> yeah, yo, yeah. I, I actually wanted to ask i almost yeah, forgot yeah. what was your tag when you were doing graffiti uh, uh big loose big loose uh, yeah l-u-s-e you got loose. a story behind that um my name is lucien that's sure. like the proper oh just big loose yeah yeah, yeah so okay. lucien just dropped the e in yeah yeah nice yeah gotcha gotcha yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I still so, I still love to draw graffiti. I, I really want to get down on like some permission walls again, but mm. it, it's not like riding a bike. I learned that the hard way. Mm. Um, I was painting at the meeting of styles last year with uh, my boy Worm, and uh, yeah, dude, I, I was embarrassed by what I painted. I never even posted it online or nothing. Really? I don't even think I went back to finish it. I was like, dude, because the proportions is hard. It's so. It was my first time like picking up a can to spray paint like graffiti letters for the first time in forever. You know what I'm saying? Since I, I can't even tell you, it's been a long time. And uh, yeah, it's not like riding a bike. It's not. It's a totally different animal. Yeah. Let me ask you about like just spray or like graffiti that you see around the city because sometimes i see stuff and i'm like that is whack <laughs> like <laughs> i know you went out there and did that that and that's like part of the so the counterculture of it i but feel like, like i i can identify how old a person is by by just what i see yeah you know what i'm saying like i could tell usually if like that kid's in high school and, and you know or like that looks like uh, maybe not i don't know but i've always been correct with my guesses you know what i'm saying yeah. like meeting somebody and i'm like oh yeah there's, uh, there's that, one. That, that links up there's uh, yeah. I, uh, but it, there's like different aspects of graffiti that are respectable like if somebody might not have the best style but they get up on like like a most crazy difficult place. spaces yeah. or they're mm -hmm. fucking everywhere there's respect in that it's like that kid yeah. doesn't care about having the cleanest letters he just wants to burn shit and he's accomplishing what he wants to do and i totally get it i'm totally there for it yeah i yeah. say deface it at all man <laughs> i'm with it <laughs> i love it dude. yeah because some thing. of it some of it looks <laughs> sick like whenever yeah. when there's really good ones you're like yeah keep that i really hope they don't take that down yeah well you know it also depends on like if you had permission <laughs> like mm -hmm. if right. you don't have permission then most likely you're gonna throw some bubble letters up there and two two colors maybe with a highlight maybe just quick quick as quick as you can it's illegal at the end of the day <clears throat> yeah. so there's there's one that i've been seeing i actually got it pulled up right here on google um have you seen these around because oh yeah yeah yeah. can you tell me the That's story right by behind that there's, i have no idea who that is but they're, th they're it's around. a roller so oh, they're is. probably oh. coming from the top there that's my guess is okay. that they came from the top and rolled it down did you see the one that's off of uh uh on top of furious spoon on milwaukee and fullerton no mm -mm. dude that shit is crazy i can't remember what it says Let's dog. See if i can but find it dude he literally they he must have rappelled down the building about 20 feet it's Damn. nuts oh it's it's God. like a 20 like he must have like repelled down that shit i was like well sometimes you see the graffiti that's up wild. there you're that's like wild. how that's do you get scary up there because dude it's a graffiti writer you know he wasn't wearing no fucking safety harness dude he probably oh, had yeah. two of his homies holding a fucking <laughs> bungee legs yeah yeah <laughs> dude like don't draw me bro <laughs> like, yeah, yeah psychos i'll be quick graffiti artists are psychos bro no all of them yeah <laughs> every one of them i know they're fucking crazy you're sneaking out like as a kid you're sneaking out your mom house i would sneak out my mom's house out the back door and then go write my name on things and steal my art supplies that was a big part of it in high school go yeah, go expensive. out to the suburbs you know hit a home depot yeah this made me just think of like what if you could have a drone with like a spray paint can on it and you just like <laughs> get up to crazy <laughs> places yo that would be wild. That's right? next level. That shit. is next level. I mean, you Yo, could, I was thinking like you who could. Who has a drone? <laughs> we gotta Dude, I mean, you can get them, but you know, it is illegal to fly them in certain areas and whatever. But like, I'll I fly. mean, if you're doing, <laughs> yeah, if you're doing no, graffiti, you can totally it's already do that. Like, imagine that if makes you sense. That's that's genius, you could get like you. some kind of like. Yeah. mechanized thing where it just does like a logo that like it does like a shape you that have you like already a know you could totally oh, have a stencil shoot it through a stencil yeah shoot it through oh. a stencil or have a stencil on a track so you know, it holds a spray can and then the track oh. goes like that yeah Shh. dude we're Wait, putting out know. bad ideas here nah, this is a great idea don't I mean I'm that. saying oh, like no. just don't, don't quote me home. yeah <laughs> try that shit <laughs> <laughs> let me see that shit <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> so <coughs> are there any other like uh i don't know things on the horizon like new tech that you're interested in implementing is there oh, any other like styles or techniques have, you're interested? You, have you seen the light form no so the light form was this like projector company that was that came out in like uh I, they, they they actually closed it they stopped making them uh during covid for whatever reason but dude it's just like 
it could like scan so the projector looks at what it's projecting on and it'll like scan your painting and break it down into like sections and then you could like control it and it use it's like i don't really understand how it works but it looks crazy as fuck because it's like projecting onto your it makes it look like it's moving oh you get what i'm saying I've yeah and like it can like, like light that. up different parts and make the you know and, and it's really interesting with my style especially if and not that sounded full of myself but it is really interesting looking because i use so many patterns and like big pop like sections it's not very there's not really any gradienting mm -hmm. so it's like picking up on just like these big sections and then it'll like light up this one light up that one and it'll have like the patterns pop out at you and stuff it's really cool looking and that would be good for like obviously a live experience mm -hmm. yeah. like you, you couldn't like bake that in well at least i don't know how you would but the, i have uh this manic focus <clears throat> piece i did at uh summer's end smoke out which is uh great festival i recommend checking it out for sure it's up in the upper peninsula they sure. took really good care of all of the artists and it was it was a really good time oh, um yeah. it's so beautiful up there in the upper peninsula man oh I've, yeah. I've only seen the stars like a handful of times you know what I'm saying? see i so haven't I was even just like yeah mind oh yeah blown. dude there's a fucking asteroid shower or something like <laughs> Wow. What nigga? What? It's really, <laughs> it's really out there and nowhere what? too. <laughs> like just yeah, we, me and my girl, we stayed up there for an extra two days, dude. Like yeah. we had this like little, like it's like a hundred dollars a night for a hotel, dude. Right on this lake, you know what I'm saying? Like eight feet to the water from like our window, and the sun comes up. It's called Silver Lake, and it's just like mm. it was one of the oh, most man. beautiful things I saw. It was so nice, like decompress after that. But uh, going back, I painted a manic focus mural there. Mm. So hopefully, we we had the light form set up there. Mm. Um, I was with the whole Genesis Collective. Um, ch definitely check them out, Gen Genesis Art Collective. Uh, my boy Hayden, he runs that. He's doing a great job. For sure. Yeah. What do they do? Um, the the Art Collective is just a bunch of artists. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, but uh, what 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 he's been doing is like he contacts these festivals and then we come out as a whole collective. We'll have like four oh. walls, you know, with four different artists doing their murals on it, or you know what I'm saying. And then we'll have like a little gallery in the middle with like you know some originals, some prints and whatnot, you know, just like yeah, put all the homies on. For sure. I mean, I don't know why I keep thinking about this, but I know you know there's like always that thing where you got to keep the lights on. Mm -hmm. Like, what's been the most, I guess um what's the word uh i can't think of the word but like the mo the best for you financially when it comes to most lucrative maybe? lucrative is the word yes um for selling um like how do you mean like what's like most lucrative avenue to sell yeah or like yeah like do you sell the what most product sells yeah the yeah most? both okay. like where and what well yeah so i mean dude it's so hard to call because like I make a lot of money off of Snapchat, but that seems to only be like things up to maybe like a hundred fifty dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like if I like I do like small series sets sometimes, it'll be like eight of the same image, but each one is an original piece because it has like different patterns and, and stuff going all through it. Mm. It'll be like different color combinations. So so it's you know, the same image repeated, but every one of them is a little bit different but i can knock out eight of them in the time it takes me to do one painting yeah i see what you're so saying. i could charge less for each one of those eight yeah you get what i'm saying i get what you're saying I, I, then yeah. i could throw out like a little hundred dollar pack you know mm. like it's you still get an original piece of art and it's not breaking the bank because usually for like my median one i usually charge about 500 for a 16 by 20 mm. um but like a lot of my work is commission I, I, that's the probably that that's what keeps my lights on yeah you know i'm really trying to get out of doing so many commissions because it, it does get draining yeah it really turns into a job then yeah yeah like yeah that's see that's like the thing where i was like a fucking job like yeah. that's why i was hesitant <laughs> to ask yeah. too because it's like you know it's okay it's about money but it's also about the love you yeah know, for exactly it, so. well you know i i feel like a, a lot of my pieces have been like a lot of pop culture icons and things like that um, and I'm really trying to slowly, uh, you know, I just, I got to keep the lights on, but once I get uh, like a big project under my belt, you know, if I want, I know it's coming soon, but you know, I just need to actually land one of these, Yeah. you know, like 5,000, 6,000 out of job and I can have my rent paid for like two Chilling. months yeah, and I could yeah, be like, yeah. all right, cool. Now I can paint what I fucking want yeah, to yeah, totally. and just, I'll just live in the studio for like a month after that, you know oh, what I'm saying? Man. And then just like knock out a bunch of paintings. When I really focus, I can knock out about 15, 16 mm -hmm. paintings in a month. Mm. So... I just need to really focus, you know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah, for sure. Yo, Mace, I'm gonna open this door. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Word, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I stay sweaty, bro. <laughs> sweaty boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just lying. I smell great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're not like doing the festival like we did last weekend, oh, man. My like God. that was yeah. dude, I was I was sweating buckets, oh, bro. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, today was beautiful to paint at. It yeah. was so nice. The whole day just sitting there painting was really awesome. Have you ever uh stayed in one of those artist galleries? Yeah, you know, I had mean? I had a buddy who um essentially rented an old industrial loft mm -hmm. that had i mean basic running water yeah. and like i have a gallery bro yeah so is that kind of what that's like mm -hmm. i mean are you are you staying there and i don't live there me oh, and my okay. girlfriend have a, a house love you okay. baby yeah me and my girlfriend we have a, a apartment over right off of like montrose beach oh hell yeah yeah man we chilling man no shit yeah oh, and then awesome. my, my, my gallery's over on montrose and kedzie so yeah. it's like a straight shot there you know and so you've i mean you've kind of disconnected the art from your personal more or less i need like, to yeah. my, my my old studio was my basement of uh, a house i was living at with mm. uh my boy mr bobby and uh it, it it definitely got um overwhelming mind you that year i i, I messed up and well i had like a post that went like baby viral you know what i'm saying mm. but uh all of a sudden i started getting a lot of commission requests like i'm talking like multiple a day people trying to send me a couple hundred dollars as a down payment this person this person and i was just kind of taking everything mm. and then i sat down at the end of the month and looked at my list and there was like 150 fucking names on there and i was like oh shit what <laughs> like are we gonna be able to do this now like, i have to paint all these and that, yeah. that actually ended up leading me down like a pretty big pit of like depression and whatnot because uh yeah it was like you know i got through like the first half that's not those out the park you know what i'm saying and then and then also while i'm posting them more people are sending it in you know what i'm saying I, I think it was actually about 100 names list when i looked at it but then by the end of like that first half that list was like 150 names and i had only gotten 50 of them done so far so it was like another 100 to go through mm. and then i started and then the next ones were like ideas that it was like all right you know it's not horrible you know but it wasn't really anything i could get into and then like the last like 15 percent, 20 percent was just like why did i even take this job like i shouldn't have even done that i ended up refunding a bunch of money um and uh then I painted this one piece for myself uh, called Heavy is the Crown. I'll send you a picture of it. Yeah. Um, you guys may put it in or something. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah um, and that piece was like really uh, special to me. It, it, not only was it the most complex piece I did with the amount of layers that broke down, like every black layer in it, like there's like three different, like there's the crown on top of his head. And I used like super, super matte black in the shadow layer on that one because it, contrast really well with the gold leaf that i used on like the, the the highlights of the crown and then like the body like the actual skin has like a different black like it's like black and gray checkerboard and then mm -hmm. the black in the, the 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 clothes was like a different process to make that one you know what i'm saying it was like really complex like so you kind of get my, different textures exactly different, yeah. exactly and it was like it was different really like testing myself and how clean and like how much i can control this like style that i made and then um the subject was really like because like I, when i sold all these commissions you know i'm like I could, i'd be bragging and shit you know like, <laughs> i mean if I, i'm a fucking loud motherfucker <laughs> i'm a fucker <laughs> but yeah, i'm like yeah, you're an extra you already yeah, yeah, yeah. i sold yeah. all these damn things check me out <laughs> well, dude you know? that helps but the then, hype train. but then this is this, that's what like the crown represents is like you know what you see you know is like this crown but then like you don't see that i'm like chain smoking cigarettes and depressed and fucking beating myself up and like not living well you know, and uh, it took me painting that piece to kind of break me out of this like real bad artistic rut that I was in. And uh, yeah, and then I did that and then got back you know, and just keep, keep killing it, keep, keep doing it. There, there's like that thing where it's like DJs, it's like one for the crowd, one for yourself. I mean, same thing with just even making like mm -hmm. tunes or whatever. Now what like. I do, I, I learned a valuable lesson from that experience is to, to really think about uh, if I want to take that job before I take it. You know mm. what I'm saying? And mind you, I've taken some jobs even since then that I probably shouldn't have, you know, or like you end up dealing with, you know, 
crappy customers or like they're too hey man what's up can i get a progress pick progress pick progress pick you mm. know what i'm saying like mm. they're just blowing you up blowing you up and it's like dude i got like you're like number 16 on the list my guy <laughs> like, yeah you need to chill out i told you maybe a couple months you know yeah. but uh you know um you know i love the support either way though I, I get it like i would be on somebody's ass if i just sent them a couple hundred dollars and then i haven't heard anything for a month i'd be like hey dude you didn't forget no, so i always keep the, the it's really just important to keep the communication open that's where a lot of artists fuck up is they don't respond or you know i, I always try to keep that communication line open with my clients they're, they're 95 percent of the time people understand they see what I'm up to online and everything. Like I haven't been able to really concentrate on commissions in the past two months because I've been doing, you know, uh, live painting Friday to Sunday, and then I try to relax Monday. But usually I'm working on a computer. Like you know, I'm also I need to be human. Go grocery shopping, shower. You know what I'm saying? Like sleep. I need sleep. That's <laughs> that's important. Usually Monday and then Tuesdays. Like okay, let's see what's going on. And then I, Got to organize all my stuff in the studio. I'm breaking down the car, you know, organizing. Wednesday, I get to paint. And then Thursday, I'm prepping for Friday, the next week. You know what I'm saying? So that was, like, literally the past two months. Um, but now this is, like, my last thing until, like, late October. Yeah, because festival season's kind of mm -hmm. chilling out. Mm -hmm. Come yeah. Towards uh, Halloween time, though, uh, Munchie was actually just telling me he got me a couple shows. So, oh hell yeah! And I'm doing like Camp Terror, I think it's called, out in uh, Indiana, and then some, some something in uh, Tennessee with them, with mm -hmm. the Ronin boys. Shout out Ronin! Yeah, shout, shout out, out Ronin! Yeah, with the gang. <laughs> Yo, I know? feel like I'm, the their, I'm their designated hitter. They bring me everywhere. <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> <Not gonna shut laughs> <up the> park. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, I can't play baseball for shit, but <laughs> but you can paint. I can paint. Motherfucker can paint. I love painting, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll paint whatever, dude. I feel like the Halloween ones could be super weird and cool. Yeah, dude. Of course, man. Halloween's that time where I'm we get. I'm trying to think of what I want to be for Halloween. Me too. I, want, yeah. I told my girlfriend I was gonna go as a Klansman, and she said that's a horror. <laughs> Horrible idea. <laughs> it's a pretty easy costume, though. I mean, yeah, just, dude, I'm trying to save money, dude. I'm a fucking full time artist. You think I could be buying fucking costumes and shit? <laughs> it's super easy. It's just a, it's a, it's a move. It's a move. I have dreads, though. I think I'll be all right. I think people will you know just gotta that it's like a joke. Pull it up real quick if someone's like, "What, yo, the yeah. dude." <laughs> It's joking. a joke. It's, no, it's yeah. a horrible joke. <laughs> Have dude. you seen the Chappelle skit? Like some, yeah, you know dude, I mean? I'm Clayton like, Bigsby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that, that got him. <laughs> the, I said That's that joke to a bartender a couple months ago, and she was like, and I was like, yo, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do not endorse uh, the KKK. Uh, <laughs> I just want to put that on record. But it's like, it's one of those things where it's like almost as easy as a ghost. Like the people that are just like, oh, I just cut eye holes out and I'm like a ghost now. It's like, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it does require some tailoring. I got to give it to them to get the point right. <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot of starch from the dry yeah, cleaner. Yeah, a lot of starch, maybe a couple stitches. You're right. I haven't thought about this enough, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a little effort. I got to give it to them. They did put some effort into getting that point to point. For sure. For yeah. sure. <laughs> Um, well, we, uh, just to circle back real quick, we were talking about that you needed to disconnect your day to day life with, with, yeah, it, it's very painting. important to me. Like, I don't even keep my own art in the house, like mm. my own, like finished paintings. I have maybe two of like my older pieces mm. in the house. But like, other than that, like I, I, I keep that shit completely separate. I need to go home and like be able to decompress and not obsess about it. Cause mm. when I had it like in my house, it was too much, man. I'd wake up. I, I wouldn't eat sometimes for like two days. Like I need to be able, like, you know, two, three days, like not eating. Dude, I, I don't even want to think about how many days I've gone without showering before. Dog. Like, I don't even want to think about that. Like in the midst of like a, a drug fueled paint binge, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know, bro. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. I've, I've, I've stood up from my chair in my studio after like a 12 hour session and been like, like, Dude, it's just like what? You stank, bro. And I'm not really a smelly motherfucker like that. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people like need a shower. They like, get they after get ten stinky. hours. Yeah. They get stinky real bad. I'm not. Uh, luckily, some people just smell people. like ham. I don't know what it is. You ever get yeah. one? Get next to one of those people. You're like, what are you eating? Wet <laughs> ham. Just yeah, smells yeah, like yeah, yeah. fucking wet ham. Ugh, dude. I don't want to think about that. Now I'm gonna think like now I'm gonna be like. 
I bet them motherfuckers smell like ham. Dude, it's a smell. I, it's like a specific, <laughs> it's got to be like a specific gene that you have or something you're eating. I got don't the know. ham gene. Mm-hmm. Some people got the funion got the, gene. Mm-hmm. The, oh, the funion gene. I'm more funion, funion gene. Now that you say that, yeah, I, I'm so, a little I, bit more funion. I, I'm a little more vinegary. Oh. I get a little bit more of a vinegar scent. Oh, I don't know. My girlfriend said it means I'm diabetic, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I bet you these things say something. I, I hope not. I, I really hope not. I haven't been to a doctor in a very long time, so me neither. I probably need to. I, like, I do. I just turned thirty, so now I'm like thinking. Like, you like go to the doctor? It's like. Do you ever smell like vinegar? You're like, oh shit! No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, like vinegar? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. vinegar? <laughs> yeah, 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 we're talking apple cider. Right, there's a know, difference. Rice. <laughs> I, yeah, there's a big difference. Uh, uh, I I wanted to ask you though. It's like you know, you got two paintings that are like your old ones, but I get it, man. Sometimes I need to disconnect from what mm-hmm. we're doing here, like. Cause it's kind of that thing where it's like every week we do yeah. a podcast and it's just like, and you have no you know. separation between work and human. Like yeah. you have it's to be all human the time. sometimes it's like, you know, I need to like wake up in the morning and not just like walk directly into the studio or office or, you know what I'm saying? It's not healthy. I don't think you need to yeah. kind of s- switch it up, see a different, just to have this different, uh, s- like surrounding, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. it's like, then I go home and I'm able to like, kind of turn it off a little, sometimes like a lot of times like, i'll bring some work home you know it said and he's like do like a rough draft or something like that mm-hmm. i do that at the crib but like it's not the same pressure of like oh i should be in the studio right now yeah and then i'm like encapsulated by my own work and then it's just like stroking my ego you know what i'm saying like or looking and obsessing about how i fucked up one little spot on it mm-hmm. I, my, my walls are covered in art don't get me wrong but it's not my own art yeah uh, i like i collect a lot yeah it'd be a little like narcissistic in a way yeah, to just have all bit. your own art. i mean i do have like my own self-portrait on my walls so, i mean oh, i guess shit. i guess as much to narcissistic as possible i have like four <laughs> pictures of me hanging up in my house dude did you did you do <laughs> like, that different and... artists like paint me and see but that <laughs> fuck, that's awesome are yeah. you like naked with like a dog like, no but i like... need to get one of those dude with like a little sharpay or something yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. like in the corner little, yeah, little yeah, shih yeah. tzu just mm-hmm. like tastefully covered Covering my genitalia. <laughs> I mean, but like it's not in a way that makes it look like I'm fucking it. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Oh yeah. It's, t- it's it. tasteful. It's yeah. tasteful. No, it's okay. Not <laughs> it's not. It's it's a fine line between the. You know, the multiple self portraits is interesting because it's like you know, like art being a mirror of yeah. things you see yourself, like well, different people's perception yeah, of I you. Got my, I got my the only self portrait I've done um in recent years i did one like way back in high school but the only self-portrait i did was actually the first one when me- messing around with this style of controlling how the pour works that actually worked mm. it was my first one that i did successfully and so it's, it's two separate pieces but they go together right in the middle and it's both my mug shots from when i was 19 and 20 mm. and uh like the colors are supposed to like go with like the emotions that i was feeling while that picture was being taken um and uh yeah and that's the one i have hanging up in my house and then i have yeah that was the first one i did i ended up making like six hundred dollars off of selling twenty dollar prints of that fucking picture so Damn. Mm. yeah who else you know made money off they mug shot <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump. that's like a full Donald circle Trump. Yeah, hey, oh, man dude he's got the best mug shot yeah. merch probably <laughs> on the planet dude oh, oh yeah fuck donald trump but his merch team is the shit dude I <laughs> they know hire, what's up they fucking go crazy bro mm. i love yeah. i love the the made in china make america great again hats that is just mm. the greatest shit it's just it's just so perfect where does it say made in china on the tag just on the yeah okay. yeah on the yeah, tag yeah. it doesn't say it anywhere that you really can see but yeah, yeah. When you flip the tag it says made in china that's hilarious. I don't know if that's like an official one or a knockoff. Yeah, one, right. Who knows? Who the fuck cares? No, these are only made in America. Whatever. I can't do Trump, but yeah, <laughs> I was just, ah, man. I I don't love talking just about like AI, but I have messed around with like mm-hmm. some of the art generator ones. And since you do visual art, I was just curious, what's your take on that? Like, man, what, fuck have AI you used now. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking shit. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of graphic designers are fucked. 
right be perfectly honest but like uh like any other technology man if if you don't start implementing it or learning how to use it for your advantage it's just going to disadvantage you have you messed I have, around i have with messed it? around with it um what what my what, what i'm really curious with is uh so when i make my my rough draft i usually need i, I need like a real picture to then posterize on photoshop um that's where it breaks it down into value layers instead of like a gradient of values it'll be like okay this chunk is the darkest and then here's the next darkest chunk and then here's the ne- and it breaks it all down into shapes you get what mm-hmm. i'm saying yeah so yeah. i need a, a photo to go off of to get that process so what i've been messing around with is i think it's mid journey yeah that does like the more photorealistic looking stuff and uh you know typing in prompts into that say i want like a shoebox overflowing with money instead of, and i don't have enough money to overflow a shoebox right now <laughs> so i typed in shoebox overflowing with money and from this angle and, da, 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 and it spit me out a couple images i don't think the technology is quite there yet to where i where i would want it because it didn't look like actual bills like all like the lines were messed up like it, like it just it's just off you know what i'm saying like and i could go in and do that myself but like i'm not like i'll be the first to tell you i'm not the greatest like drawer like freehand drawer on the like i'm i'm okay you know what i'm saying like i used to do like more like realistic portraits but it would take me forever it take me 40 hours to finish a portrait of somebody and if i'm painting for 40 hours i want a thousand dollars at least at least a thousand you know what i'm saying that's like bare minimum but nobody's trying to give me a thousand dollars for a painting this big that took just because it took me 40 hours that's why i moved over once i started developing the style of like the layering and everything and i started looking at other people's work I started realizing like, oh, I think I'm onto something here. Like I, I've never seen anybody else make a painting that looks like this. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing as an artist is like developing a style and being consistent and like really hammering it into people's heads. So when somebody like walks into somebody's house, I have some, I get Snapchats and like Instagram messages all the time with people like, oh, I walked into my friend's house and boom, they had like one of your prints or they had pieces by you and they could just identify because of the style. Oh, that's Lucian's work. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that's really sick to me that I, I have that. Like it's it's like, I, I feel blessed. Like, like that this like came into my head. Like it's just like, oh dude sick like once they started selling i was like when, when do when COVID, when them stimulus checks came i got like four of them you know what i'm saying i looked at my bank account and i was like fuck this job i'm yeah. out of here i quit no, it was cool i quit on good terms you know i could still yeah. go back today but uh, man i don't want to <laughs> dude sure that's the thing want to. i was i was talking to some people or whatever like i'll see it sometimes people being just like confused like oh man i just you know, I want to do this, but I just don't know how to do it or whatever. And I'm like, y- you did the same thing, like where it's like you buy the stuff and it's expensive or whatever, but it's like now you have and you can make that shit. And it's just like, sometimes you just got to take that leap and not to get like inspirational or anything, but I just see how you invest in yourself Yeah, and how I see other people being like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm like, dude, you just literally got to like take spend some money like i don't know Yeah, a big part of it though too is like I, i've never had like a starving artist mentality my first job my, my father we i was raised on art money like my dad did tattoos that's how we got christmas presents you get what i'm saying yeah so like i've always seen art as a hustle since day one my first job i worked for tony fitzpatrick he's a world famous artist like he's a big deal like you know what i'm saying uh, and uh i watched him make like a lot of money the first show that we did like i i I single i I watched it i was his assistant so i watched how many pieces he sold and i did the math and i was like oh shit that's some money that was the first night i sold a piece of art uh it was a it was a a graffiti piece it it was like on like a math times table i drew it in class it it said loose going around like the corner and it said fuck school (laughs) (laughs) and this this like yuppie white lady bought that shit (laughs) it's probably a t-shirt she was sitting there she was sitting there looking at it just like hmm and I was like, oh, do you like it? She was like, yeah, are you the artist? And she started asking me. She's like, there's no price tag. How much do you want for it? And I was like, a uh, hundred bucks. She was like, Psh, here. <laughs> First thing that went through my head, I was like, wow. shit, I should have said two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How old were you? Uh, 14 or 15. 
Wow. But yeah, that kind of like like when I look back now, I can like spot these like bugs that like got planted into my head mm. and like just like different uh mentors i would say like i've never uh, uh, yeah like just different like inspirations and in, in, in things that i saw in real life that showed me that like a career in art isn't like it isn't not real you know what i'm saying a lot of people have like that societal yeah like, for sure you know outlook on like oh get a real job but i've always seen art as a real job that can make you a bunch of money if you do it right yeah because you saw it early on like, yeah that guy but it's also a lot of money it, 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 it's also not about the money though yeah that, that's the main thing to keep in mind too it's really not it, i i would rather i just want to have enough money that i could live comfortably you get what i'm saying like i don't need a million dollars i don't need yeah. all that fancy shit i'd like to have like a house and like my car paid off that'd be sick you know maybe be able to help my mom out with some shit but that's really all i care about and to be able to keep producing cool looking shit for people to look at right like, that's all i want that's all i want in life i don't want to do anything else i just want to keep making cool looking shit Hell yeah, man. Dude, and that's what I'm saying. I also didn't want to sound like ignorant because it's like, oh, go spend some money. It's like, yeah, not all of us just have money to blow and yeah, spend yeah. towards this thing. Like, there's, well, I think, you know, you know? It, it starts off slowly, but like now, like, dude, I look at my spray paint and I'm like, that's like a couple thousand dollars worth of paint that I got sitting there. <laughs> like, yeah, just fucking, that's a yeah. lot of fucking paint, yo. Yeah. Yeah. When I moved, that's when I realized I, like, it was like, it was like 10 boxes filled with fucking spray paint you know each mm -hmm. spray each can's like eight bucks yeah that shit adds up. oh yeah actually <laughs> just question i mean i don't know mm -hmm. if this isn't if it's incriminating we can take it out but how do you get your spray paint because isn't I it go like to the burbs you just mm -hmm. go to the burbs yeah, yeah. I, live, I live like 20 minutes from evanston blick yeah I, so you I, can get it or you could, okay. you could order it online you could there's, there's people in chicago that's selling that shit on off they like out their back door is yeah, there an it. issue with it? What, what well, yeah, you, it's illegal to sell spray paint in yeah. the city limits. Is it really? Yes. Oh. Since the 90s. My dad had a, a store that actually got shut down because he was selling spray paint out of the back. It, so so yeah. if you buy it, is that illegal? Or um, it's just illegal to sell? I think it's just illegal for stores to sell it. I'm not exactly sure, oh. though, because like I've heard that you could like have like licenses. Like If you have like a contracting license, you might be able to buy spray paint from like, but they got it like locked up. I don't know. They just make it I difficult enough where it's like, yeah, just it don't. was like their way to combat graffiti. It's stupid. They should have just taxed it's it like they so. tax everything else in this damn city and then just like use that tax money to clean it. Yeah. Instead, yeah, and I also, don't, I they, don't really understand how taxes work. Like, thank God, <laughs> bro, for it's confusing. Ne yeah. Neither does Illinois, so yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't get it. Not getting political, but yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> but we are. I like, I like yeah. to paint. <laughs> I need a new accountant. Yeah, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> I feel like if they if you, they did what you were saying, like maybe we'd have even better uh, spray paint artists. But you know, nah, like, man, uh, it's it's not that difficult. It's not that it's not that difficult. <laughs> it's just about like the Dude, you could go to Skokie and go man, we used to go out to Skokie and like fill a shopping cart with spray cans and just bounce. <laughs> it's not that <laughs> it's not that difficult to up. get. Dude, dude, just turn that bitch upside down in the trunk, <laughs> dip off. <laughs> you, I get you're my not saying service, man. Fuck that shit. Swap, dude. I did thirty days of swap, bro. That it was brutal. Do you know what SWAP is? No, no. SWAP is like a sheriff's work alternative program. That's what it stands oh. for. It's community service, but it's court ordered community service. Like in Chicago, man, they ain't gonna let you like go bullshit. Like, oh, I worked at a veterinarian's yeah, I swear office. I worked, you know what I'm yeah. saying? No, nah, dude, you gotta go to SWAP, bro. You go down to six, uh, 26 in Cali. You go to the, the county and you go like into this like little back area and then you have to check in and you can't have a cell phone on you. You can't smoke cigarettes. Like, you can't have shit on you. And then you get into a van with a dickhead CO and Dude, this one CO, he would smoke cigarettes because he knew all of us smoked cigarettes, but then, like, would make us smell it. So mm. then you're just sitting back there like, dude, I need a fucking cigarette. Like, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know? And then you go and, like, pick up trash off, like, the side of the highway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, like, yeah. one of those things. Yeah. yeah. That sucked. Yeah. That was the worst. Dude, I used to wear I, I stole my swap vest. I used to wear it to like fucking oh. dubstep shows back in the day. Dude, this is like 2009 probably, 2010. I used to go to like all the shows at Congress, theater and all that, oh, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, like I'm talking Classic. about Dr. P and Flux Pavilion. Dude, I that remember that show, show yeah. when, when oh. Bass Cannon came out. Dude. Dude, when he dropped that shit, the whole fucking place, it literally like, 
exploded dog it was such it was so the energy was insane i remember i didn't go to that show but my friends did and then when Bro. they came back we're driving around and it's yeah. just like they're just playing flux and dr yeah, p i'm yeah, just like yeah. damn it i should have gone yeah i'm pretty sure i snuck into that one dude well dude the, the, the congress was like yeah. lawless too like, oh it was uh, yeah man i mean the bouncers yeah. will get you oh they were on it bro they, yeah I, I got a story i can't even talk about it but yeah man those guys were on some shit dog yeah hey, they cool though but man ooh. Well, it, they just resorted to, like, not doing it by the book. Like, they would do stuff. They'd, like, take your drugs and then kick you out. And then you'd come back and in. And then it. they would. Yeah, like, dude, <laughs> no, it was. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sketch. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know nothing about I, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. <laughs> maybe, maybe bleep that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, I I'm mean. I'm not trying to snitch on the body. <laughs> there's no one, no one being snitched on. I just. I saw that firsthand. So yeah. I mean, hey, I don't know. We nah, can we can believe sure. it if we need to. I don't, we're not saying any names though, you know. I mean, because I, I just I know the most, none, <laughs> none. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Do you? I saw one of the guys that used to give me a hard time there oh. recently, and I, I walked past him to go backstage to go get some free drinks, and <laughs> I was like, "What's up, man? <laughs> mm. I'm painting now. <laughs> you, know <what> <laughs> <mean>? <laughs> you didn't throw me out of that place. Yeah, you can't throw me out now. What? <laughs> what? What's your time? Do you gotta um, go? Yeah, I gotta, gotta get out of here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks again for having me. Yeah, man. let's do our wrap up question real quick, and then we'll, okay, we'll get cool. you out. Just the wrap up question is what was your favorite concert we started with your first but like what was like the game changer that's hard dude it's that's hard. hard yeah it's really hard we're talking like concert like i have like a top five live performers list and okay. like that's like says of a down was yeah. one of the best live performances i've ever seen i've Hands still never down, seen them so mind-blowing performance um and i was shit face drunk for it dude i had such a good time but uh was that at Riot right fest yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. and then like uh wu-tang clan at the congress theater years ago that mm. was one of the dopest shows i've ever been to and anderson pack actually he's definitely on the top like he's top sick. of the list live yeah. performer he's he's amazing i really want to see fkj live but like mm. in like an intimate setting dude he's that that, crazy. that that seems really cool i really he's done a lot out. of really interesting performances yeah, too, like exactly. in different yeah, spaces yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I really dig his stuff a lot um and i'm brain farting yeah but then That's like my good, favorite though. concerts like festivals well i mean i've been to probably was what con i had a really great time there and live you were painting. working yeah yeah and i met I, I i got to meet martin afterwards you know what i'm saying like I painted a picture of him, so he has that hanging in his studio now, and that's just like I love Liquid Stranger. I've loved Liquid Stranger. Martin is Liquid, Liquid Stranger. Stranger. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Like he he and like me and him, we ended up talking for like an hour, dude. He's just cool as hell. Like that was like yeah. a really cool like interaction to have, and really like great way to like pop my festival painting cherry. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It was scary though getting into Arkansas, dude. It's like the liquor store before you get on the mountain is fucking called sundown liquors like i shit you not like it's all sundown towns mm. like surrounding mulberry mountain it's like they don't like black folk that's what that mm. means yeah sundown. sundown town is like a town like if you black you shouldn't be here after sundown Mm. yeah that, that and the liquor store was called sundown liquors and you're just like <laughs> i wanted to turn around and take a selfie bro but I, I i my girlfriend was like that's dumb as hell let's get there <laughs> i was like if someone yeah. saw you take that picture yeah. dude that's so dumb but yeah well no nah. i didn't even know about that so thanks for <laughs> educating me my yeah, man a lot of the country's racist as fuck i yeah i know <laughs> it's yeah. We're, we're jaded living here in chicago we be forgetting but even like you know, I'm, I'm not tripping about it. I'm not too worried about none. We don't have to go down that, man. It's all about it's all about leading with love. You, t- you tend to get what you put out. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Well, dude, thank you so much mm-hmm. for coming through. This yeah, was fun. You. We quick and dirty here. Yo, let's oh, yeah. let's do it again sometime, man. Maybe yeah. after tour. We didn't even talk about tour. I'm going on tour yeah, with yeah, Salty no. oh, and Micro. Where can dot? people yeah, find you? Plug, all plug that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm Lucian Trap Art. L U C I E N Trap Art. I sell art like it was the trap. And uh, I'm going on tour with Salty and Microdot starting in January. Make sure you stay on the lookout for that. Shout out my boy uh, Munchie for putting that whole thing together. Love you, dog. Shout out Genesis Art Collective. If you're in Chicago, come check out my gallery. It's called Happen Space Gallery. We keep it 
we keep it rotating with amazing artists. It's me and my boy Rodney Duran that run that space. It's called Happen Space, H-A-P-P-E-N Space. So, uh, yeah, come check us out. It's uh, 3115 West Montrose. I'm there every day. So Hell yeah. What you know? about socials? Uh, Lucian Trap Art. Lucian okay. Trap Art on everything. Word. Yep, yep. Cool, dude. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Hell Thank yeah. you. Take care, y'all. Peace. Peace. Uh-huh.